Hello and welcome to the Mastercam 2019 Mill Essentials video training series tutorial number one. In this tutorial, we will create a 2D CAD model. We will create the top 2D geometry needed to create the toolpaths. Geometry creation commands such as rectangle, circle center point, and chamfer entities will be used. We will select a machine definition and set up the stock. A facing toolpath will be created to machine the top of the part. A circle mill toolpath will remove the material inside of a large hole. A drill toolpath will be created to spot drill four holes. Another drill toolpath will be created to machine the through holes. A contour toolpath with 2D chamfer will be used to chamfer the top of the large hole. A contour toolpath will be used to machine the corners. Backplot and verify will be used to simulate the tool's movements. Finally, we will post-process the file to obtain an NC file containing the necessary code for the machine. First, we will create a rectangle. We will learn how to create a rectangle given the width, the height, and the anchor position. We will create a 2.5 inch by 2.5 inch rectangle with the center anchor in the origin. Select Wireframe, and then select Rectangle. Enter the width as 2.5 inches and the height as 2.5. Then select Anchor to Center and make sure Create Surface is disabled. Anchor to Center sets the base point of the rectangle to its center and draws the rectangle outward from it. Create Surface creates a surface inside of the rectangle. Surface creation and surface toolpaths are covered in the Mill Advanced Video Training Series or Training Tutorial Book. Select the origin. Notice that my cursor icon changes to reflect that I am about to select the origin. Press OK to exit the command. If you make a mistake while following these steps, you can use undo and redo. Next, we will create four quarter inch diameter circles. To use the circle center point command, you need to know the center point and the radius or the diameter of the circle. First, select circle center point. Enter the diameter as 0.25 and click on the lock icon. Then, select the fast point icon. Enter the coordinates as 1, 1 and press enter. Press the fast point icon again and enter the coordinates as 1, minus 1 and press enter. Repeat the steps, entering as minus 1, comma, minus 1. and minus 1, comma, 1. Press OK to exit the command. Next, we will create two circles, one that's 2 inches in diameter and one that's 3 quarter inches in diameter. Press the circle center point button. Click the lock icon to allow editing the values and enter the diameter as 0.75 and press enter. Select the origin. Then press OK and create new operation. Enter the diameter as 2 inches and press enter. Then select the origin. Press OK to exit the command. Next, we will create 45 degree chamfers at the corners of the rectangle. Select Chamfer Entities. Make sure one distance is selected and Trim Entities is enabled. Then make sure distance one is set to 0.25. Select this entity 
and then this entity. Repeat the steps until all four corners are chamfered. Then press OK to exit the command. Next, save your file. Click on Save As and give it a name. 